Okay, let's talk about today, shall we? <laughs> I know you guys were hoping for my first video in Hawaii to be like outside on a beach and whatever, but today's been really hard. Like really hard. So, some good things. There are a lot of things that went right today also. I mean, a lot of things that I'm so, so, my hair is just crazy in this environment too, by the way. Woo! Um, I'm so, like, so, so proud of myself for. I got on a plane. I not only got on a plane, but I was, like, for the first time ever during takeoff, I was, like, excited and it felt funny and, or fun and good. And it was all the things. And, um... I didn't have hardly any anxiety at all. Like, it was crazy. I just kept being like, oh, my God, I can't believe I don't have hardly any anxiety. And there was turbulence, and it was kind of scary at times, but I still felt like I was, like, really just, like, not really having that much anxiety. It was really, really awesome. And I was just, like I said, really proud of myself. So that was great. Then the plane landed. And I get off the plane, and I'm greeted with some humidity which whatever it's Hawaii I knew that was coming and I actually like humidity I like the way humidity feels on my skin I like humidity uh, and it wasn't that hot at first I was like oh this isn't so bad and then I realized that the airport at Hawaii is not in a building it's an outside fucking airport we had to get retested for COVID which whatever uh, but we had to stand in this long line my bags are in or had to be checked my bags were about 65 pounds each and there's two of them plus my carry-on that weighed probably 25 pounds plus my laptop bag which is a, like a 16 inch or 15 inch or no 17 inch uh really heavy metal <laughs> fucking laptop and then my purse which is filled with so much shit okay so it was all just super heavy things i'm having to carry by myself so I finally get through the whole outside thing. I'm starting to get really hot and I finally get to my baggage and I have to pick up these bags and put them onto a luggage cart. Thank God that a luggage cart was so happy for that. But I'm like asking her, I'm like, how is there a place to get in where I can get into AC because I can film, I'm filming myself. I'm starting to overheat and that's not a good thing. That means I'm going to get lightheaded. It means I'm going to possibly pass out. It's not good. And they're like, no, there's, we don't have any of that. And so I'm like, okay, well I see all these like, air conditioned like um shuttle buses for like the car rental places and i'm like well maybe i'll just rent a car instead of getting an uber i don't want to stand out here and wait for an uber i think i'm, I'm literally thought i was going to pass out and so and it was really really hot like un unusually really hot today because of the because it's getting ready to rain and so it gets really humid which makes it a lot hotter and so i go to get on the hertz one and i'm like oh so can i just go to the counter and just like rent a car He's like, not usually. He's usually you have to book it. And if they don't have anything, they're probably going to make you come back here. And it's funny. He goes, you know, the island just makes makes you go slower with everything. I said, yes, I know. I'm aware of it. <laughs> and he's like, okay. I'm like, I don't I don't really care at this point. I need to get an AC or it's gonna, there's going to be a problem. There's going to be a medical problem. And he's like, okay, well, yeah, just come on. So I got on there and uh, it wasn't cool enough at all on there. So I, my body temperature was taking forever to cool down. And I was lightheaded and just feeling like shit. It was now about time for me to eat again, so I'm trying to, like, eat um, food, and there wasn't enough time to really eat it, so he's like, oh, you can go inside the building in Hertz, and you can sit in there and get cooled off, and, you know, whatever. So I take my heavy-ass bags out of the Hertz thing. I put them on the ground, because I can't even drag them in there. They're just too fucking heavy, so I just leave them outside. Outside in the fucking whatever. And so I go into the Hertz place. Um, I realize there's not any rental cars that are less than... Like eight hundred dollars for a week, and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. I don't drive that much to fucking to to do that expenditure, um, expenditure, whatever the fuck I fuck say it, that expense. And so I'm like, I'll just call an Uber. So I'm like, although oh, Uber's probably gonna take a while to get here because I'm like way off of you know off the beaten path of the airport, you know where the rental car places usually are. So I hit that thinking I have enough time to eat. She's gonna be there in four fucking minutes, and I'm like, oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. So I'm trying to stuff at least a little bit of food in my mouth so I don't have a hypoglycemic episode because it's now been almost four hours since I've eaten. I'm stressed out. Also on top of this, by the way, I didn't get to say goodbye to my best friend. Aubrey fucking dropped me off at the airport and we thought she would be able to come in and say goodbye to me. So she went to go park. Turns out nobody can come inside. I told her nobody could come inside. So she starts to head back to the airport 
And I think I, you guys already heard this part earlier today, but the lady was like, oh, she can just come and come here. And then we realized that she was already at the, at the freeway. So I didn't even get to say, that was the first time I cried today. I was like, bawled my eyes out. And anyway, so the lady comes and she's like up the road and across the street. I can see her. And she's like, they won't let me come in. You're going to have to bring your stuff over here. And I'm like, these are literally a hundred pounds in bags. It would take me probably close to six, seven minutes in this fucking heat that I'm already too hot in to drag these bags across the ground, which would probably ruin them and get over to her. And finally, one of the guys that works here is like waves her over. He's like, no, you can come in. So she, she comes in. Finally, she's pissed. I can tell she's just totally irritated. And I'm like, um, trying to get my stuff in her car and she's like being weird about it. And I'm just like, okay, well, and then we get into her vehicle and of course all her windows are down and no AC. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Can we turn the AC on? And you could tell she was irritated by that. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm super heat intolerant. She's like, well, why'd you move to, to Hawaii if you're heat intolerant? I'm like, I didn't choose the island. The island chose me. And she's like, oh, I've heard of that a lot actually. <laughs> so we kind of chuckled about that. So that was kind of nice. And then... I realized that my room is not ready yet. So I'm like, well, what the fuck am I going to do? I said, well, I guess I could sit in the lobby. It's probably air conditioned. She goes, no, no, the lobbies are outside basically. And I'm like, oh my fucking God, this, this fucking island. And so I was like, okay, well, she said there was a Safeway close by. I do have to get some stuff. So why don't you just go, just go to Safeway. And then I'm thinking, and I go, oh shit, I have all my bags. What the fuck am I going to do with all these heavy ass bags while I'm grocery shopping? I said, I guess I'll just put it in a cart. She was very nice to take my bags out on her own. She was super strong. She was like not even complaining. She was like, when it took, literally it's taken two people to move my bags. She just moved that shit like it was nothing. And so she picked them up and she put them in the fucking, uh, in the cart for me. By the time I figured out where my credit card was, I thought I lost it. Um, she already had them in there and I was just like, Oh my God, thank you. So I tipped her a bit and I kept telling her, I'm going to tip you big. I said, I, I know I'm a pain in the ass. I'm going to tip you big. And she still was just kind of still irritated and shit. It was kind of seriously, it was irritating to me anyway. So I get into the fucking store and the people in Safeway are super nice. There's a lady in there. She's like, Oh yeah, you could just leave that card over there while you do your shopping. I went and got a sandwich. Finally got some real food in my system. Started to feel somewhat fucking normal. Um, and started to cool down finally. Um, and then another, I had, to get, I had to get another Uber to come um, back to this place. So I get to this place and it's gorgeous, you guys. It is so beautiful. I've taken some other video that I'm going to put up after this one so you guys can see it. And I'll, I'll, I'll turn this screen around so you can see also. But, um, so I get here, take my bags and I pull them down these stairs through the lobby and to the other side over here where I know I'm going to fucking have to come over here. And this big burly guy comes out. He's super nice. And I'm like, so is there like, I said, I don't ever ask for help on these things, but is there anyone that could possibly help me get my bags? Because my place I'm renting is all the way across your place and it's up two flights of stairs. And I have no idea how I'm going to, my bags are like 50, 60 pounds a piece. And he goes, no, Sorry nice I was like really I said okay well I don't really don't know how I'm gonna get them up there I said I guess I'll just have to leave one here and drag it across he's like well I do have kind of like a hand truck only it was like it like was like a was like a like a, not a flat bed but it it came out that way so you could actually lay stuff on top of it so that was very nice and very very appreciative that he put that together and, and let me use that because oh my god I would have had to just drag them all it would have been a nightmare even more of a nightmare than it already was. So anyway, I finally get into the room. I'm so fucking overheated and hot that when I get in here, the AC is of course not turned on. So it is like smoking hot in here. So I have to turn the AC on blast, which it's literally taken it like four hours for it to fucking cool down in here to a, to a normal fucking rate of what is comfortable for me. I sit down on the bed and it's super fucking hard and uncomfortable. And I'm like, awesome. I'm like princess in the pea when it comes to my bed. Okay. My bed was a $2,000 bed. It took me three different beds to figure out the bed that would work for me when I finally did fucking find one. It's like gel and Tempur-Pedic and it's my fucking happy place. It is the only place that makes me feel fucking safe. And now I don't have it anymore. It's gone. And now I'm on this super hard bed after a really hard fucking day. I'm going to sleep like shit, which means my anxiety is going to be through the fucking roof. I'm here for two fucking nights, which means it's going to be through the roof for two fucking nights. 
and I'm in paradise and I can't even enjoy paradise because I'm going to be real with anxiety to the point where I can't even leave my fucking hotel room. So I am fucking pissed at this point and I'm, I'm sad and I'm mad and I'm don't understand why this is happening when I knew that as soon as my feet hit the ground here, things would be amazing, incredible and awesome for me. And they've been nothing but fucking hard and I'm pissed. I'm fucking mad. I want to go the fuck home. That's how I feel right now. And I'm saying the truth of all this because I'm really hoping this has a happy ending. I'm hoping that this can be looked at and look back on and be like, yeah, bitch. And you were fucking feeling like shit. Look what fucking happened. Because there's been so much amazing synchronicities and fucking things that have happened to get me to this fucking island that I am refusing to believe that it is not for some bigger fucking reason. Now, I broke the fuck down. I cried the ugly fucking cry. I feel not comfortable. I feel alone. Um, I feel not comfortable at all. I feel like I have had shitty fucking living experiences for almost two years straight. Medical issues on top of that. While that was fucking happening. And then I finally get six months at Sierra's place bless her fucking soul, where I feel like I have my own space and I feel comfortable and safe and I have an amazing bed and I feel awesome. I know I'm not supposed to be there anymore. It's very clear I'm not supposed to fucking be there anymore. Like if I think about going back there, if my bed was not there, it would be a hell no would I ever go back there. Just because I, and nothing to do with anyone except for the fact that I just know I'm not supposed to be there. My energy doesn't resonate anymore. So now I feel like I can't go home because it's not my home. Because I'm not supposed to fucking be there. And now I'm in this place where I'm definitely not fucking home. I'm not fucking comfortable. I don't feel fucking safe. I don't say safe. I feel safe. I don't feel like anything bad's going to happen to me. I just feel... Uncomfortable as fuck. And my beautiful friend Annette came to see me. She lives here. She's the one that saved, that sent me the kukui nuts that helped me so much on the plane. Oh my God, I love her so much. And she came all the way out. She came out, not all the way, but she came, she lives over here close to here. And she came out here and she bought me a sarong and she brought me this awesome fucking, I don't have it, um, this awesome towel that feels like a fucking blanket. It's amazing. And I'm hearing noises. The fuck? And... Yeah, she sat here with me for a while and was just like so kind to me and such a friend and I'm just so grateful for her and to see her in person, you know, this hair is driving me crazy. All this humidity is making my hair just like, doing. I can't wait to see what it looks like when I take it down. I may even take it down for you guys just so I can show you if it'll be a fucking wackadoodle. I know it will. And so, yeah. So that. Anyways, so that's what's been happening. And so it's only been one day. I'm fucking exhausted. So I'm trying not to make any rash decisions. But right now what I want to do is go the fuck home back to Sierra's and find a fucking place to live with this money I have in fucking Portland where I'm comfortable and I feel safe. and I have my own fucking bed. And every time I hear myself say that, that doesn't feel, that doesn't feel comfortable or safe either. This hair. That doesn't feel comfortable or safe either anymore. So now it's like I really feel twice as lost and twice as just shitty. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just like the island was supposed to be a place for me to feel safe and comfortable. And I don't feel any of that. And so I'm trying to figure out what this is all fucking for. And I know it's only the first day and then I need to just relax and try to figure out what that is exactly and whatever. But yeah. Anyways, that's where I'm at. Sorry, it's not the happy fucking awesome whatever. And I'm sorry you guys probably won't be getting that many cool shots and pictures of me anywhere while it's this fucking hot outside I'm not fucking going anywhere I'm just, and, I, and right now I feel like I don't want to go anywhere I don't want to do anything I want to fucking go home that's where I'm at I just feel like I want to fucking go home it's just 
really fucking hard and uncomfortable and triggering just all of my fucking safety fucking things about stability and home and I don't want to cry again like it's exhausting me And by the way, there isn't really any jet lag. For those of you who think this is jet lag, because they're two hours behind me, okay? There's not like a... I actually gained two hours. I didn't lose any time. So it's not that. And I know I'm just... I'm trying to see like the bigger picture of this. And I'm trying to like take my own advice. And I like am repeating that everything's working out for me. This is just really... hearing myself say like it can't be for nothing like like all the signs all the confirmations like I couldn't have fucking misconstrued all of those I mean so many of you saw those but there were other ones on top of the ones that I was sharing on Facebook like it's not those weren't just the ones you know there were so many other ones was constant so I'm trying to just be like there has to be something else to this story and this feeling of uncertainty that is so deep and that's you know a bigger part of me just feels like that's what this is all for I don't know, to get me to this place where I can never be triggered this way again, that like, if I can find comfort and find stability in a place where I feel <laughs> this fucking alone and just lost, <sighs> that I could do it anywhere and like, that type of stability and safety be able to feel that anywhere is priceless and it does open up doors and opportunities and things that are in reflection of that and so I am trying to see that and understand that I am so anyways that's where I'm at that's what's going on. So I wanted to show you guys out here really fast. So you can see what it looks like. Yeah, so I've got a pool. Let me see if I can get this. I've got a pool, tanky torches. Yeah, it's cute. And it's beautiful actually, it's not cute, it's fucking beautiful. And let me see if I can show you guys going on out here because this is really this is really really beautiful I can 
get to a space where I am enjoying this awesome view instead of feeling like I just don't give a fuck about any of it and just want to go the fuck home. Some realness for you. That's how I'm feeling currently. Riddled with anxiety and fucking not wanting to be here. <sighs> so, see how I feel over the next couple days. I'm sure, I'm gonna be feeling tomorrow like a lot of people do when they release a bunch of things, go through things. I'm gonna feel like I get hit by a Mack truck, and I'm probably not gonna feel like I want to go fucking anywhere or do anything because of that. We'll see what happens. I gotta find another place to live though, because I'm only here for two nights. Tonight, tomorrow night. Then I gotta find another place. So someplace that has a comfortable bed, hopefully, so I can at least get some fucking sleep. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.